In this video, I want to show you how you can use an extension cable with your pen display. So you may need to use an extension cable when the computer you want to connect to is somewhere far away and the cable that's included is too short. So nowadays, most pen displays come with the three-in-one cable. Sometimes there is an extension cable included. And many of the recent pen displays also support USB-C connection, which is the connection that I'm using here. However, sometimes the USB-C cable is not included. So I will be talking about extension cables with the three-in-one and extension cables for the USB-C. Let's start with USB-C first. If your pen display supports USB-C connection, but the USB-C cable is not included, there are some things you need to know before you buy the USB-C cable. So, for example, with this pen display, the USB-C port is actually recessed inside this hole here. So the USB-C cable that you buy must have a connector uh, part here that is small enough to go inside this hole and make sure you buy a USB-C video cable. Not all USB-C cables can transmit video. To extend the USB-C cable, you will need a female USB-C to female USB-C adapter. So this USB-C cable that I have here is quite short. It's just 80 centimeters or 32 inches. So I'm going to use this adapter. I'm going to connect this and connect this to another USB-C cable which is 2.5 times longer than this. So now let's connect the pen display to the laptop that I have here. So this cable as you can see is so much longer. When I first connected the pen display it did not power up so I had to disconnect and connect the cable and now it's working. And now it's being powered by the laptop, so it's going to be draining the laptop battery quite quickly. So if you are using a laptop, you may want to connect external power to the laptop. If your laptop or your desktop's USB-C port does not provide enough power to power the pen display, you will have to connect an external power source to the pen display. So you can use the USB cable and adapter included to power the pen display. And now let's see how you can extend the 3 to 1 cable. There are two ways to extend this cable. You can extend it from this end that goes to the pen display or you can extend it from this end that goes to the computer. To extend from the USB-C end, you will need the female USB-C to female USB-C adapter. And you will need the USB-C extension cable. Make sure it's a USB-C video cable. And make sure that this cable again has a connector that is small enough to go into the hole for the pen display. And if you are using a pen display where the USB-C port is flush against the side, then you don't have to worry about this connector. Let me reattach this in the correct direction. Unfortunately for me, I was able to power the pen display, but I wasn't able to get any video signal. I know the 3 to 1 cable works fine without any extension. The USB-C adapter and the USB-C extension cable also work fine because I've tested them earlier with the USB-C to USB-C extension. It's just that for some reason I wasn't able to extend this 3 to 1 cable from the USB-C end. I've tried the extension on both ports and they both don't work. Let's try the second way to extend this 3 to 1 cable, which is from this end. You may need three extension cables. Hopefully one is enough, but how many extension cables you need really depends on how far apart those ports are on your computer. So to extend from this end, you will need a female full-size HDMI to female full-size HDMI adapter. So let's connect this to the 3 to 1 cable. And this is my HDMI extension cable. You can use display port cable as well. So this very long HDMI cable will go to my computer, which is on the other table. Unfortunately, the USB end is too short, so I need an extension for the USB as well. So I need to extend the black USB Type-A. And now this two will go to the 
computer. So the extension works from the other end with the HDMI and USB type A, but not from this end with the USB type C for some reason. And thankfully my computer's USB port was able to provide enough power to power the pen display. So I don't actually need to connect this to a power source. However, if my computer's USB port cannot provide enough power, then I will need to connect this to external power. And if the external power is somewhere far away, I will need another extension cable for this.